Back now at 743 with a medical breakthrough. This morning, surgeons at the Children's Hospital of Illinois will announce a first-of-its-kind surgery on a child. And it's not without controversy. Here's NBC's Meredith Fiera. Here we go. Ooh. See? Look at that. She's the radiant little girl whose sparkling personality has always defied the rare, deadly disorder she was born with. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun. They said, we can't do anything for your daughter. We'd get phone calls from the hospital, and I just, did, did she die? It was like a nightmare. Born with no windpipe, Hannah Warren was kept alive for two and a half years by a tube inserted from her mouth into her lung. She spent her entire life living in this neonatal intensive care unit in Seoul, South Korea, unable to breathe, talk, swallow, eat or drink on her own. <gasps> yeah! But last month, she was flown 13 hours to Peoria, Illinois, where she has just become the first child in the world to receive an artificial windpipe grown with stem cells from her own body. This is the page turning in science. You know, this is like the first organ transplant. This is like penicillin. We're turning the page in medicine. This is a little girl who was a prisoner, and now she has a chance that she's going to have a relatively normal life. The pioneering operation was performed three weeks ago by an international team of surgeons at the Children's Hospital of Illinois. Lead surgeon Dr. Paolo Macchiarini of Italy has made transplant history before. In 2011, he gave this cancer patient the world's first bioartificial trachea, made from a plastic scaffold that was seeded with the man's own stem cells. But Hannah was his youngest patient yet, and he's a dad himself, which made the nine-hour operation especially challenging. When it comes to children, it's different. It's um, very hard, very hard. Well, in that moment that Hannah's in the uh, operating room, in a way, does she become your daughter? No, she becomes the most important person in that moment in the world that I need to care about. Because no donor organ was used, it virtually eliminates the chance of Hannah's immune system rejecting the transplant. And already, the stem cells from her own bone marrow are changing her body to become airway cells. That's like magic. Over a four and a nine day period, those cells had already become airway cells. They changed. That moment when you saw that those cells had done what you were hoping they would do in the trachea, how did you respond? I was very, very much uh, touched. In fact, I cried. But the field of regenerative medicine, which for decades has been promising a future of ready-made organs built in the lab, is still controversial. Critics say the science is too new, questioning whether an operation like this is too experimental. But you're dealing with a lot of naysayers. So what? <laughs> Tom Starza, when he started doing liver transplants, the first seven, eight, nine patients all died. Everybody said he was nuts. Okay? Well, was he? Christian Bernard, when he started doing heart transplants, everybody threw rocks at him. You're looking at the beginning. And for Hannah's family, her dad, Daryl, her mom, young me, and older sister, Dana, it is nothing short of miraculous. And there was a time when we didn't have hope. We never mm -hmm. dreamed that any of this could happen, and it did. Wow, it's very incredible. For her to be a pioneer and a driving force for this to happen, it's really cool. That's my girl. <laughs> <laughs> for today, Meredith Vieira, NBC News. And in the coming months, Meredith will have Hannah's full journey in an exclusive NBC Meredith Vieira special.